guys. Today I'm going to give my personal favourite top 10 comedy shows from the 1990s. I'll give you my top 10 in reverse order. And this is similar to the two videos I did previously. Comedy shows from the 1970s and comedy shows from the 1980s. So this is the 1990s. And this is just my personal top 10. Yours will be completely different. And I've probably missed out loads of brilliant shows. At number 10, I've got A Bit of Fry and Laurie. This was from 1989 to 1995. I did four seasons and 26 episodes. So the show has Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie. And they're brilliant, these two. Great comedians. And this was just after they were together in Blackadder 3. They were great in that and they're great in this. So the show has sketches. And sometimes it turns weird. Sometimes they break the fourth wall and talk to the audience. So it's an underrated comedy show. A photograph of you here. <laughs> this, uh, this is when you just signed to Motown. Uh, it's an early publicity shot. It has to be said, you do look quite a bit different there. <laughs> I was eight years old, for goodness sake. <laughs> I mean... Number nine, I've got The New Statesman. This was from 1987 to 1992. They did four seasons, 26 episodes and three specials. This stars Rick Meal as Alan Bastard. And he's one of my favourite comedians, Rick Meal. He was great in The Young Ones and other shows. And he plays a sadistic, conservative backbencher. Aren't they all like that? Great show. Good God, you're ugly. <laughs> I beg your pardon, sir? Ugly and deaf, Alan. Go away and send us a presentable waiter who isn't disabled. Go on, shoo shoo wop. Don't you think that was rather rude, Piers? You're right, Piers, I'm sorry. Waiter! Sir? It seems I was rather rude to you. I'm so sorry. I meant to be indescribably rude. At number eight, I've got Canned Carrot. This was from 1990 to 1995. He did two seasons and five specials. And this features Jasper Carrot and his underrated comedian. In this show he does sketches, but I especially like his stand-up act. I think he's excellent at that. Really funny guy. Uh, this programme, as you know, goes out after the watershed. Uh, this is the time on TV when all children under 11 are deemed not to be viewing in case they see something that they shouldn't. Instead, they're upstairs in the rooms watching a video of Deep Throat. <laughs> Number seven, I've got Mr Bean. This is Rowan Atkinson playing Mr Bean. And it started in 1990. It did 15 episodes and it won loads of awards. And an animated series followed as well as two feature films. So Rowan Atkinson, although he's great in Blackadder, he's probably more better well known as Mr Bean. And he's really funny in this. Very visual actor. It's almost like a, a modern Charlie Chaplin. Are you feeling any better? No. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> At number six, I've got Vic Rave's Big Night Out. This was from 1990 to 1991, did two seasons and 15 episodes. And it was followed later by The Smell of Raves and Mortimer in 1993. That did two seasons and 12 episodes. So this stars Vic Raves and Bob Mortimer. So although it's got a cult following, the humour's not for everyone. Really crazy humour and at times very surreal. What's on the end of that stick indeed? Are you going to reveal? I doubt if you are really, are you? You are going to reveal? Well, let's have a look. <laughs> Let's have a look at the end of this. What have we got? Oh! <laughs> Number five, I've got Shooting Stars from 1993 to 2011. It did eight seasons and 72 episodes. Once again, it's Vic Raves and Bob Mortimer. It also has Eureka Johnson and Mark Lamar as 10 captains. And this is like a skit of old game shows that had daft rules and crap prizes to win. <laughs> it's really funny though. So this was Vic Raves and Bob Mortimer at the best, I think. Great skit uh, game shows. I kiss a girl and I like say The taste of the cherry capstick I kiss the girl just to try it I hope my boyfriend just minds it I don't! <laughs> Number four I've got the Mrs. Merton show from 1993 to 1998. It did four seasons, 29 episodes. 
This has the late Caroline Hearn. She plays Mrs. Merton. And it's a skitter talk shows. And had some great guests on this. I think my favourite one's the one when Bernard Manning was on. That was hilarious. He got accused of being a racist. And this was followed by Mrs. Merton and Malcolm. Yes. And if you'd have been black, you'd have still been stood there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I thought you weren't a racist, Bernard. No, no, I just... I just so why would you have left a black man standing there? I just don't... I don't... I just... <laughs> I just don't. Which incidentally, I've got placed at number three, Mrs. Merton and Malcolm. This was from 1999, and it only did six episodes. It stars Caroline Hearn and Craig Cash, and both of them are from the royal family. And in this, they play mother and son. And Craig Cash, he plays the role as though he's a bit backward. So her son's a bit backward. And the father's bedridden upstairs, and you never get to see him. So you don't even know if he's dead or not. So there's a bit of a dark aspect to this comedy, but it's really funny. I especially like the episode where Malcolm's going on a blind date and she doesn't show up. <laughs> Fish shop? Oh, I don't know. Eh? You're treating her like a princess. Mm. It'll be a dear do, though. Top night out like that. Oh, he's got a savings account, Arthur. What, she didn't turn up, did she? No, ma'am. And did you go in on your own? Yeah. At number two, I've got Bottom from 1991 to 1995. It did three seasons and 18 episodes. So this stars Rick Mill and Adrian Edmondson. And they're both from The Young Ones and Filthy Rich and Cat Flap. So this was the third show with them two together. And this is probably the best one. It also spawned five stage show tours from 1993 to 2003. So it's such a funny show. I'd class it even funnier than the young ones. Hey, sit down. I am sitting down. No, you're not. You're squirrelling around the place like some sort of evil dervish. Do you want a fight or what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey. And at number one, I've got the Royal yes! Family. From 1998 to 2000, it did three seasons and 25 episodes. Then, from 2006 to 2012, it made specials. So this stars Ricky Tomlinson as Jim Royal, and he's hilarious. I love his catchphrase when he, when he says something, he says, My ass <laughs> at the end. It also, again, has Caroline Hearn and Craig Cash. So Caroline Hearn, she was really popular in the, the 90s. She also wrote comedy as well. So this has a great cast of characters. And as you watch the show, you start to get to really invest in the characters. You, you grow up to really like them. And it also won loads of awards as well. So it's one of the best comedy shows ever. All the best, Rodgie! <laughs> Ooh, he's a big head and get him. It'll take him ten minutes to get in the bloody car with his bloody big head. He's a big head and get He never stopped boasting. His house, his car, his bloody yacht, even his poor bloody wine. And I tell you what, I'd love to meet bloody Joe Longthorne. So anyway, that's my favourite top ten uh, comedy shows of the 90s. And that might do my favourite comedy shows of the 2000s. And maybe also I might do US comedy yeah! shows from the 70s onwards. So I might do my favourite US comedy shows from the 70s, the 80s and the 90s, like did the UK ones. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye.